Now at 5.30, a first look at the new Intel facility being built in New Albany. The company releasing renderings of what we can expect from Intel's $28 billion Ohio one campus here. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Angela and we have been following this Intel project through all the major announcements and some of the delays too. Yeah, Tintibee's Kristen McFarlane it joins us live tonight. She talked to residents that live near this site about what their future neighborhoods could look like and what's the reaction tonight, Kristen? Yeah, Angela, Andrew, lots of reaction on that. Right now, you are taking a look at the area around New Albany. Lots of construction going on here, as you can see. But in just a few years, you could see something different, a over 900-acre development. But speaking with residents around this area, they're not too thrilled. This video from Intel shows biking and running paths and outdoor space surrounding these buildings. The company is preparing to bring thousands of jobs to the area, but for people nearby, they aren't excited to see the development in their area. It might look nice and everything, but you can't, you know, you can't, you, we're not going to have the country feel anymore. Mary Ann and Jerry Hersey have lived in their house for over 30 years. I'm not a bit happy about it. No. Boxed in by everything, yeah. all the warehouses like behind us and yeah. the other side. And, housing developments. Part of the project includes sidewalks carved out and paved and roads widened to address traffic. The traffic is already completely changed. Now it starts here about probably about 530 in the morning and goes to uh, seven ish. The governor says the facility is expected to bring new businesses to support the supply chain. I'm glad that they are trying to make it look nice and look welcoming, but it's not what we wanted and it's not what we like. Now, Intel has not given an exact date where they will be expected to be open, but they are hopeful by 2026. Live in Johnstown, Kristen McFarland, 10TV News.